derivatives of natural logarithmic functions. In part one, we saw that the derivative of log x equals 1 over x. The chain rule says that the derivative of log of u is u prime over u. It also turns out that the derivative of the log of the absolute value of u equals u prime over u. Let's do an example. u is equal to 5x to the fourth plus 2. So the derivative of this will be u prime over u. Find the derivative of 5x to the fourth plus 2. Then clean it up, and you're done. Let's do another example. u is equal to cosine squared x. Before taking the derivative, I like to remind myself that cosine squared x is cosine x quantity squared. Now to take the derivative, you're going to bring down the 2, and then it will be cosine to the 1. Then the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Clean it up, and you get negative twice sine x over cosine x. You could have done this problem a different way, or we could have done it a different way. We could have first started, using, started by using the properties of logs. Then, in that case, u is equal to cosine x, so u prime over u. Now I'm only taking the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine, and I'm done. A little bit faster. For this problem, you're going to need to use the product rule. The derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of log x is 1 over x. The derivative of x is just 1. So I just clean it up and I'm done. For this one, you need to use the quotient rule. Now, before we use the quotient rule, let's, uh, let's, let's simplify. I don't really like using the quotient rule, so let's at least, least simplify log of x squared. Since x is strictly positive, I can rewrite it this way. Now it's going to be a little bit easier. Set up your quotient rule. Find your derivatives. And simplify. I pull out a 2x, and then, then that shows me that I can do a cancellation. All right, now uh, we have a problem here that involves the absolute value. Now, uh, it's going to be the same thing, u prime over u. u is equal to secant x. So the derivative of, of y will be the u prime over u, derivative of secant over secant. Derivative of secant is secant tangent. Notice how the secants cancel, and I get tangent. Now, this is uh, kind of interesting. We just found out that the derivative of the log of the absolute value of secant is equal to tangent. And that tells us that the antiderivative of tangent is the natural log of the absolute value of secant. So we just found the uh, antiderivative of tangent. We already knew the antiderivative of sine and cosine. Now we know the antiderivative of tangent. In part two, uh, I'm sorry, in the next part, I think we're up to part three. In the next part, we will con continue the discussion of antiderivatives. Take care and have a great day.